What's up guys, your boy Gantan Titan here with my Herbalism 1 through 25 guide. This is going to be the fastest way to level your Herbalism up before Miss Banneria comes out. So the first place you're going to be looking at is called L1 Forest guys. It's 1 through 75, you're going to get Peace Boom, Serve Leaf, and Earth Root, and this is recommended for Alliance. Now before we start guys, make sure you have your fine herbs check mark, or else it's going to be not impossible to find in the herbs, but it's going to make it a lot harder. So <laughs> make sure you have that check mark. So if you're a horde, um, your starting area is going to be different. The starting area I recommend is called Trisfall Glades. Uh, you're going to get the same exact herbs as you get in Elwyn Forest. But uh, it's just more convenient for horde because why would you come to Elwyn Forest as a horde to level up? It's just common sense. Again guys, also the starting zones doesn't matter too much. You can really go to any star zone and they all have the same herbs. So um, any star zone is really great. So uh, those don't really matter too much. It's as like uh, the higher levels do when it stuff gets changed up a little bit so the next zone that you're gonna be going to is Hillsbrad Foothills now Hillsbrad Foothills is more recommended for Horde and I say this because uh, their town toward the mill you can level up your herbalism there so it's more convenient for Horde because Alliance you can't do that so you have to fly back somewhere to level up your herbalism so it's just more convenient for the Horde So instead, the Alliance uh, zone I recommend is Darkshore. Now, Darkshore is really good because it's really close to a city, Darnassus. So you could just fly there and get the Herbalism and fly back real quick. So it's not too much of a trip. And um, yeah, it's just a lot more convenient for the Alliance. Now the next zone, is for both Horde and Alliance, it's Fairless. Now, Fairless is really good because all the herbs are really clumped together, like you'll find two at a time. But the thing that you wanna make sure about her Fairless is um, all the herbs blend in because everything is so green. So really make sure that uh, if you find a herb on the mini-map to just look, because it is gonna be there. You might just have a little time finding it. But yeah, all the herbs blend in really well here. The next zone that we're going to be going to is Eastern Plaguelands, and this is for both Alliance and Horde. Now this is a really good zone to get Sungrass, it's level 230 to 285. So this zone, it's packed with herbs guys, I mean, you can have herbs in a straight line around the map, like this is a great zone to level up herbalism. Alright, the next zone, guys, is going to be Swamp of Sorrows. Now, the mini-map, as you see, or the map, the little route, you don't have to follow any route for Swamp of Sorrows. I just kind of cleared it in because Swamp of Sorrows, guys, there's herbs literally everywhere. Like, this is, like, herbalism galore. There's herbs going to be throughout this whole zone. Um, there's really no path you can just take because there's going to be herbs everywhere. I see this three in this little area right here. So, Swamp of Sorrows, there's no really custom, like, path you need to really follow to get the most herbs. Swamp of has it everywhere, guys. So after Swamp of Sorrows, you're going to be wanting to go into Outlands to Terracor Forest. And uh, this zone is kind of the best zone, but it's also really hard to find herbs. Um, unless, if there's someone else farming, I should say, it's going to be really hard. Because there's not too many herbs to start off with. But it is the best area to level up herbalism after Swamp of Sorrows. But even though um, Swamp of Sorrows, you probably could just stay there and get enough herbs and level to skip Terracor Forest and Outlands completely if you would like to. But that's optional. Next, guys, is Howling Fjord. We're moving into Northern Territory. Howling Fjord is a great place to get Gold Clover and Lily Leaf. Now, uh, this zone is really good because all the herbs are just nicely and tightly clumped together and that's what you want you don't want them to be super spread out because super spread out is is not not the best way to go and this is going to take longer and prolong the leveling process to get maxed out herbalism 
The next area we're going to be looking at is across Northern Shalazar Basin. Shalazar Basin, guys, is another herbalism galore like Swamp of Sorrows. There is a path you want to follow, though, for Shalazar Basin. But um, it shows our basin guys, there's herbs like everywhere. So it, it is, this is another really, really, really good place. I recommend herbalism as well as getting herbs to sell in the auction house. This is a fantastic place because you get a lot of herbs in a little bit of time, which is fantastic. Next off guys, we move to the Cataclysm Zones. Next up is Mount Hygel. Now, Mount Hydro is a fantastic place to get Cinder Bloom. You can go 425 to 475 if you would like, and then go to Deep Home. But that is optional. Um, a lot of people would stay in Mount Hydro till 500, and then just go straight to the next zone to max it out. And I personally did that myself. It's just faster than to switch up zones, go all the way to uh, Deep Home, and then get you look 25 more points of herbalism. So it's just recommended to stay here. The final zone, guys, is going to be Oldham. Now, Oldham is. You're gonna max it out so fast here. You're getting whip tail, and this is the last 25 points. It's straight down this river. You just gotta stay straight down this river. But of course, there's always people um, leveling here or getting herbalism. You see, like this hunter, the second time he's taking stuff from me. But um, yeah, this place is. You're gonna level the last 25 points really fast here, as well as just gold farming stuff. Whip tail sells really good on the auction house, and yeah, this fantastic place to get whip tail. All right, guys. This is my been my leveling guide uh, for herbalism five one through five hundred twenty five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to uh, like, favorite, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.